Hello everybody, it's Soman here bringing you another preview of the Architects. Today we're going to be looking at the item system. Now, here it is here. As you can see, it just uses the shuttle menu as usual. Uh, you navigate, pressing the buttons associated with the action. And the items are divided into uh, certain categories, which is in the top left hand corner. Like two-handed weapons, single-handed weapons offhand uh, and then like torso stuff like that sort of similar to how Diablo has it and on the right hand side are all the item affixes now when you equip them those affixes are then applied to your character most items most weapons either have a critical strike affix and then some other sort of random affix like in that case chill other items such as armor usually have a vitality or a Evasion affix as their base affix, which is well, vitality is just uh, it changes the health cap, which I'll show in a second. And evasion is just like a flickering in vulnerability. And yeah, there's lots of other miscellaneous affixes which you'll see as well. And yeah, that's the legendary item, which is very rare to get. They have their own unique descriptions. Okay, now I'm just going to quickly show you how to do the uh, how the vitality works. If you see now, we're going to heal at the end. Watch the health go from 6:22 to 8:25. So that's what his vitality is at now. Just the base vitality, which is calculated by adding uh, vitality changing items and fortitude level. Now we're going to put on purity breaches, which give 2% vitality and charge doublet which gives six percent so there's a total eight percent extra now those are equipped so we're going to heal again and watch what happens yes it goes up to 1425 okay now i'm going to show uh, the general store this is just pretty minor but the general store has a uh, randomized he sells items from a sort of random pool and his stock changes every uh, 12 game minutes or so. That's the stock at the moment. So you can buy items there. They usually, their items you usually can't get anywhere else and they usually have sort of random effects. Or very uh, esoteric effects. Okay, now we're going to do... Uh, crafting, I'll, sh I'll show you this again, you guys have already seen this, but this is just how you collect the crafting materials. You get them through three ways, basically. Uh, mining, to get ore. Uh, killing monsters and critters to get um, sort of hides and that sort of thing. If you see this one will actually fail and die. Yep. And third type is uh, these rifts will open up across the wilderness and you have to interact with them to get essence out of the rifts, which you'll see in a second. Yep, there it goes. Just spam as hard as you can. Yeah. Now crafting is, uh, you collect crafting blueprints off monsters. Basically, if anyone gets a blueprint, everyone gets it. So you'll you'll all have access to the same items. You can see the question marks are the blueprints you haven't collected yet. And you can go and you can check what components you need. It'll be green if you have the components. It'll be red if you don't. And you can examine all the items, affixes, before you actually craft the item. see there it doesn't have the attribute doesn't have the components so you can't craft it and now we'll just equip them quickly as well by now I hope you know how the item system works more or less that's the meat of it right there so yeah 
Uh, stay tuned. I'm continually working on this. Should be out. Well, the demo should be out in a within the month, hopefully. And also be sure to participate in my RPG event.